What would it look like standing on the moon looking at the sky? Would it be blue? First of all, shout out to my brother Kenny and Howard. Guys, I love you. Thanks for watching, Kenny. Thanks again, guys. And, well, we left off where, hmm, the crash or the object was, came down to the moon in the last time I was ever able to see the moon, which seems to be September 9th. Uh, many people are telling me, look, at this is a nice view right here. Many are telling me that the sky yesterday during the full moon was destroyed and that they didn't get a chance to see the moon. And that was my case here either way. Another nice video. We're going to see, oh yeah, clarity and color. But first, this is 28 to 29 minutes after the crash or whatever we saw on September 9th. You can see that there is no oscillation even here. This is almost 35 minutes after. So everything's back to normal. And the oscillation, not necessarily meaning it was the object. I'm not trying to, uh, you know, force you to say, think it was that, but we did see an oscillation. So whether it was the chemtrails, whether it was that, uh, again, I see chemtrails going over the moon and it doesn't have that effect. You can see the cloud. It's black in my telescope anyways, when I see it going over sinus iridum at the top and those two aren't the craters so perfect, right? When you look at them and you go, how can they be craters, right? They all look the same. <laughs> you move in close up and when you do get in pretty close up, well, you can clearly see that the craters are, uh, they look manipulated anyways. There's a light inside the crater as we're going upwards and I always ask myself why is there an energy source all the time inside of yeah most of the craters actually and we could see along the terminator line this video my friends were going along the terminator line extra slow it's going to be pretty nice to see all the colors and don't forget I'm trying to look for little details that we don't usually see with smaller scopes right trying to slow it down it's not easy you have to really slow it down and to get a clear angle and shot and you could see all the earth-like surface i love saying that because it's just true and you'll see there's that light in the crater and you'll see what i mean as we progress here so now i want you guys to pay attention here to the blue area i don't need to put a mark up on it i hope you're seeing a blue area on your screen it's Mare Imbrium right in the center. NASA would have landed supposedly at the bottom right where you see the white bright craters in that proximity area. So Theophilus Crater is right over here on the top there. And Mare Serenitatis over there, Bessel Crater right here.
All right, I owe a lot of thank yous once again. Mr. Peter Larock, hey, welcome bro, and thanks so much for the generous contributions. Char, Char Gordon as usual, thanks so much for the contributions, but um, Peter Larock says, and I love these messages, seek and ye shall find. I love all the messages you guys leave me. And Char says, hey my friend, which is ridiculous, sorry I haven't been able to donate anything for a bit. Right, it's been like what, days? Shar, you've done more than just contribute to this channel. I appreciate it. And Peter LaRock, thanks to you guys and people like you. Uh, we're going to get the bigger telescope and I'll keep producing videos. Thanks guys for the support. Looking forward to interact, Peter. Thanks. For whatever the reason you'd like to send me something, here is my mailing address. Bye.